Welcome to today's video blog. As you can see, I'm here on I Radio with Fergal Darcy. Fergal, great to, to see you. Paul Gill, good to see you. Fergal, I wanted uh, to ask you, I, I'm, I'm in a process of inter interviewing interesting people and you're a man of interest. Your show, I Go Home on I Radio, it, it tops the ratings all the time. And I think part of the success of that show is your passion and your enthusiasm for what you do. Where does that come from? That's a good thing. And, you know, that was kind of instilled in me when I was young. My mum was always a woman with great drive. I remember we'd be out when we were younger. Everyone else would be playing and she'd be like, no, no, lads, no, come on in here. We've gardens to be done. Like, you know, out with the hole. That's not how you do it. Now with the rake and she'd be there taking out weeds. And there'd always be something to be done in our house, you know. And then after that, maybe you'd be allowed to go play soccer. It's funny. I, I think if you love a thing that you really get into it. I mean, there's certain things I've done in my life, like I went to piano lessons. I couldn't stomach it and, you know, gave it up straight yeah. away. But I am passionate about this job. I think it's. I think it's a want to make people smile. I always said this, that whatever it is about radio uh, and being on stage or any of those things I've done, it's always that want to know that there's somebody on the receiving end of it and you've put a smile on their face. So it's making people feel good about yeah, it. Yeah, it just if you can make one person smile a day, I think, I think that's a good mentality to have. Yeah, because your show is very upbeat, isn't it? Well, more so, yeah. I know there's times when there can be serious stuff on it, but more, it's, it's more so about kind of giving people an alternative to listening to Mary Wilson talking about the doom and gloom of what's going on in the country. That's yeah, what it is. Yeah. You know, one of the things I've stopped doing lately is listening to news. I deliberately stopped listening to news because news, it's like a hypnotic suggestion. It can put ideas into your head that can bring you right down. So I listen to good, positive radio. And that's where we come in. What we do is we listen to the news and then we make up bullshit stories about it. <laughs> generally, generally, that's how it rolls, you know. But yeah, it's, it's, um, it, it's quite funny. You know, when you talk about radio, I come in in the morning uh, to work and I'd be listening to the hardest of current affairs that you'll ever hear and downloading podcasts just to figure out what's going on in the world. But then when you come in, then you sit down and you organise your show and you get it done. And when you broadcast, it's, it's, it's funny. It's like you said, the passion. I noticed that it can differ between presenters too. I watch different presenters and how they present. Yeah, yeah. And uh, some, like, some DJs, their passion is all about music. Uh, for me, it's all about content and, and the drive and how you can approach it uniquely and putting yeah. on voices and personalizing pieces and things like that. I and, think that's, and I suppose communication with your audience. That's it, yeah. That's, that, that's the number one. It's funny, it's changed so much over the years. When I started in radio, it was all about phone calls. Then it went to text messaging, mm -hmm. text messaging, and now it's all tweets uh, and Facebook. That's that's the way it's gone. I'm wondering what the next thing is. Are you going to be able to video blog people coming in the show? Tsh. Like radio is now a multimedia platform. It's no it longer just you turn on the airwaves. That's but for some people, but most people, radio is internet blogging, all this kind of stuff. What we're doing here, that's that's the big thing now. You know, if you're a radio station, you're not doing all that stuff, then you're not a media platform. And you strike me as a kind of an ambitious man. I am. Um, and that's one thing I've always had drive. I was asked when I was 12 years of age, I was asked by a teacher called Mrs. Green. She says, Fergal, what motivates you? Mm -hmm. And I turned around and I looked her straight in the eyes and I went, I motivate me. And she said that there was only two people out of 125 students in that class that said that, that your best motivator is yourself. All right. Guess and who got the question right? You know? yeah. <laughs> two people. And Fergal, if I may finish on this, if you were to give a piece of advice to your listeners or impart some of your philosophy about life to your listeners, what would that be? If I was to give a piece of advice, I'd say very simply, enjoy life while you can and make the most of it. I know times can be muck and times can be bad, but, you know, if you must drink, have a drink to others. If you must go down, go down laughing. And if you must have fun, have fun with your mates. I think that's the way it is. I think make the most. Carpe diem. Seize the day. That's always the most important. There's too many people out there that'll take you down. So at the end of the day, we're always going to have begrudges. We're always going to have people making noise about us. We're always going to have... You're always going to have somebody that'll put you down. Haters going to hate. That's their job. That's their job to hate. What else are they going to do? <laughs> so I, I would say, look, at the end of the day, smile a lot, enjoy yourself with your friends and do not screw anyone over because karma is bad. Be happy. Be happy. Be, Be happy. happy. Give us a hug, man. Give us a hug. Give us a hug. <laughs> <laughs>